During my investigation in Pescara, I learned the Cosa Nostra was involved. Big crime family in the Umbria region. Gabe decided we couldn't afford to let them think it was okay to use bioweapons for family business. Their leader, Dmitry Alexopoulos, had to go. And while you may think Gabe hired me for my good looks, he really hired me for my skill with a scope. I had C4 with me. I knew that after I made the hit, I would need a diversion to help me escape. My plan was to plant an explosive down the street in the opposite direction of my escape route and set it off after Dimitri went down. Here's another tip. I don't use knives. Too messy. I like to keep my clothes clean. And killing a man with a knife can be a noisy business. Not good when you're sneaking around with a sniper rifle. Instead, I use a neat trick I call the neck cracker. Step up behind a man real close, grab his chin with your right hand, and twist like you're trying to catch a wet football. They go down nice and quiet. I knew that Dimitri would be coming out of the front doors of the church. There was only one logical place for me to be to take the shot, the tower across the street. I knew I had to make my way there and set up at least five minutes before three o'clock. I would use the tolling of the bell to mask the sound of the rifle. That'd give me a few minutes before they figured out which direction the shot came from. Seconds before three o'clock, the bell was about to sound. I steeled myself and got ready. I am the door through my scope. The bell would ring three times. On the first, I would aim. The second, I would breathe. And on the third, squeeze the trigger.
after I took the shot and saw Dimitri drop, I triggered the explosives. Running for life provides an intense adrenaline rush. Really, there's nothing like it. Except the incredible feeling of satisfaction when you know you've completed a mission and done your job well. You finished the mission in record time. Awesome work. Cobra managed to not get killed.